uh, welcome to this video and uh, in this video we are going to learn about the frames and bounds so usually in an every entry question as an ios developer we used to face an uh, question called what is the difference between frames and bounds so it is very important uh, to learn about frames and bounds so as we go for the before going into our video so let's see what is frame and what is bounds in a simple manner so first thing is like uh, frame it is used to get the position which is related to its super view or its parent view and coming to bounds bounds it's used to get the position related to its own coordinate system so that's a difference between uh, frames and bounds so let's see in somewhat deeper and let's see what is the difference between them for that i have created an um, view and uh, created an x as 100 and y as 100 and width of 100 and height of 100 so everything is 100 and i have kept a background color and i have just added in your uh, in my background view uh, as a sub view of my parent view and just printed the frames and bounds so let's see what is the difference which is going to print for frame and which is going to print for bounds so let me run this code okay yeah uh, the output came so here you can see like i have just uh, added the view in my uh, view controller and kept an x as 100 and y as uh, 100 and height and width of this uh, particular view is 100 cross 100 so this is basically a square view and here you can uh, see an uh, uh, print statement for uh, this view and bounds uh, of the frame is like x is 0 100 and y is 100 and uh, uh, height and width as well as 100 because it's going to display the uh, height uh, related position of its parent view so in its parent view the frame is going to create so frame is going to display oh it is from 100 100 and uh, with this height is going to be a same so coming to the bounds so here you can see the bounds as i told you before the bounds is something which is related to its own coordinate so uh, it is must like it's not going it's not going to insert in any other view so it is going to be its own view so definitely it's going to be a zero cross zero for x and y so that's why it's displaying a bounds for zero one zero point zero and zero point zero and height and width is same so basically by this statement itself you can differentiate what is frame and what is bounds and item uh, with this same for dif uh, for frame and bounds so then why why it's we are going to use uh, bounds and why we are going to use frames you can uh, come across this kind of uh, uh, queries in your mind so basically uh, let's see an another example and somewhat uh, we can able to know the better reach of this frames and bounds very clearly but you should have always have in mind like the frames and bounds are usually use, uh, used to display the uh, x and y position and the height and width of it and bounds is going to display its own coordinate systems and uh, height and width of it so actually this is the same and output of the height and width is also same so how the frames and bounds are getting differentiated in some other uh, uh, scenarios i will explain that so for that what i am going to do is like i am just going to rotate my uh, my view as an 90 percent so let's keep this and let's keep this line okay so basically what i am doing is like i am just transforming or rotating my view to certain degrees like this in a right hand angle so you can see an uh, triangle uh, square in it i'm just going to rotate it somewhat uh, in a right hand side and let's see what's happening and let's see uh, uh, what is going to print for frame and bone and definitely i'm saying like the output is going to be uh, very different and you will get surprised by seeing the output okay let's see yeah i'm just running it and it's going okay that uh, the view gets rotated but here you can see like the frames and bounds are somewhat uh, uh, changed you can you can also see like the views gets rotated uh, 
the frame is 80 and the uh, x axis of his frame is 80 and y axis is 80 and uh, height is 139 and 139 and uh, bounce is something related to its uh, similar to the previous uh, uh, result uh, so here you can see a vast difference between the frames and bounds when i switch to the rotation mode so here the the compiler will check the from uh, from top to uh, this x axis it's going to be 80 and uh, from left to this uh, starting it's going to be 80.51 and the height is going to be like 139 and the width is going to be a 139 so uh, here you can see like uh, difference between the frames and bound but here bounds is somewhat same while comparing to without rotation because it's going to take its own coordinate so usually zero is x zero is an own coordinate so its height is going to be 100 and width is going to be 100 so even if you rotated the height and width is going to be same for bounds and if if, if you rotated the frame is going to be totally different when we uh, see from the previous uh, result so in this way the frames and bounds are uh, uh, okay, so you, you, you while while doing a real case problem, these frames and bounds are really going to be help in your projects. So it is must you have uh, have to have a clear understanding with frames and bounds. Okay, so so in every interview question, this particular question will be uh, putting in your uh, uh, plates, and you have to answer this by explaining it to tell self. Uh, uh, the interviewer will be proceeding with the next step further and further. So uh, summarizing this like frame is going to return its uh, parent views x and y positions and its height and width and uh, bounds is going to be display its uh, uh, position uh, related to its own coordinates so that's a uh, small glimpse of this frames and bounds and you can work around with this and uh, uh, play with it and thanks for watching this video and if you like this video hit and thumbs up button and see you in the next video bye